We're with Kevin Doyle from Downton Abbey. How does it feel to be the comic relief in the film? Am I the comic relief? I suppose, well, I hope, <laughs> I hope I'm not the only comic relief. I, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's lovely. I mean, Julian's just written me some, be- as he always has done, written me some beautiful stuff. And um, it's an absolute pleasure to, to revisit this character. I love this man. I love what, um, what he offered me and what I've been able to take on and sort of what, what's evolved over the years. It's been, a, it's been a fantastic journey. It's very rare at home in Britain to, to be in a show for six years. It's unlike in the States where there, you've got a lot of long-running shows. S- six years is really unusual. Normally they last about three or four at tops. So, um, so it, it gave us the chance to explore all the different facets of all of the characters. But I think Mr. Molesley sort of uh, was rewarded in sort of, he became a fully rounded figure. I and mean, people, I think, at the beginning were suspicious of him um, and didn't, uh, yeah, didn't trust him. And I think eventually, I think people seem to have come around to like him, which I'm really pleased about. Did it feel different to be in a film version of it than the TV? Was it more grandiose? Did it feel bigger to you? Really, no. I mean, the the process was exactly the same. Um, But you could see that there was a lot of money being thrown at it. And so, uh, you know, there's some spectacular, spectacular scenes. I mean, I I was saying earlier that it just looks at home on the big screen. It seems as if it's that's where it should have always been. it just looks wonderful. And so all the money that they've thrown at it has paid off, I think. Did you get to keep anything from the set? No, I wish. I wish. Yeah, no, nothing. No. They keep very good, especially at Highclere Castle, they're very careful about what goes in and what goes out. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome.